But to begin this Wednesday, the lovely Dr. Lori is back with us, of course. Lori, our rock star, antique appraiser, collectible appraiser, just really all around great guest. How are you, Lori? It's good to see you. Very well. Wonderful, Natalie. What an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always feel like we say the word antique, and I feel like that's kind of misleading. I mean, we're not just talking antiques. Sometimes things are collectibles that we see because, of course, the items that we talk about each and every Wednesday sent in by our viewers, and we try to, or at least I try to guess, and uh, you, of course, give me the right answer if it's something we should hold on to, meaning keep it out of the dumpster or part with, and that of course is a $50 threshold, but we do, we see antiques and collectibles alike. We do, so antiques 100 years old or more, or collectibles 100 years old or less, so don't think if you don't have something really old that you can't send in a picture. You can send in a picture to the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend anytime, any object, if it's something very new and you say, I'm not really sure, you know, <laughs> don't think, oh, it has to be really, really old. That's not the case. I look at all different types of objects, objects that were made yesterday, we look at. So, uh, <laughs> and of course, we want you to play along. So just post it there. There's a lot of cool stuff on the Facebook page too at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. That is right. Well, thank you for that. And Lori, as always, you pick them right from the Facebook page. So uh, what caught your attention today? Where are we beginning? How about with a stone sculpture, Native American image? Um, it is carved, a direct carving, so a chiseled carved stone sculpture um, by a, an artist from Kansas, mid 20th century. Really a beautiful piece, quite large as well, about four feet tall. What do you think? Oh, wow. $50 under or over. Man, Lori, I mean, the size alone and, and the hand carving, I would definitely say a no dumpster on this one. Definitely a no dumpster at $850. Ooh. It's really beautiful. Yeah. That really is striking. Oh, man. Viewers, what a good way to start on this Wednesday. Dr. Lori, I love that first one. What do we have second? Start with some fine art, right? And let's continue with some fine art. How about a name like Rembrandt? Oh. This, is a, this is an etching by Rembrandt uh, of the flute player. The flute player was first done in 1642. It is signed in the plate. That means when Rembrandt actually scratches into the actual metal plate, he scratched his name in as well. Well, by the late 1800s, these plates are reproduced and they start to make more prints from those original plates. That's what this is. This piece dates to about the late 1800s from a metal etching plate by Rembrandt that dates back to the 1640s. So understand that it's a reproduction, but again, it's from the original plate. So um, it is a real Rembrandt etching. It's just that it was placed down onto this piece of paper uh, about 200 years after it was first done. Thank you for making that clarification, because again, it, it is still a real Rembrandt. Yes. However, it is, you know, made from that plate. I'm really glad you said that. And so based on all of that, I mean, the age alone, of course, it looks like it's in great shape, too. I'm going to definitely say no dumpster as well. No dumpster for the second time. This piece is worth about $1,200. Oh, my. Very nice. I'm glad. I, I really, I had no idea that you could have like a reproduction, but yet it still be kind of an original category. Well, right. That's right. And, and it's a little bit hard to understand. A lot of people kind of go, what do you mean? You know, yeah. it's not the only one with printmaking, especially at that high level with the Rembrandts and those guys. You know, they are reproducing these throughout many centuries. And rightfully so. Uh, what do we have on the third item today in our dumpster? Or, oh my, you're taking me back. I had these, Dr. Lori. I know. How, how about some bell charms, those plastic bell charms that everybody collected in the 1980s? A full collection of junk necklaces started in the mid-1980s um, by companies like Imperial and Boogie Oogie and the Jingle Gems. But these are a lot of fun. And uh, they were collected widely and you would get anything and everything. Yes. It could be a boom box or maybe a tennis racket or maybe a, a basketball net, you know, Michael Jordan. A calculator? A calculator, <laughs> right? That most kids today don't know what the heck that right? is. You know, yeah, blenders oh. and, and eggplants and you name it. <laughs> There's this a little takes toilet me bowl. Back. A lot of stuff. 
vinyl <laughs> records me back i even yeah. remember the container that i like stored them in in the oh, 80s see? um shoot dr Lori, i i am thrown on this one i'm assuming we're appraising the entire collection the entire collection yeah. so look at all those and think to yourself the entire collection so there are a lot of them there what would you say more or less than 50 for all of those are people collecting this people all? are we seeing are 80s memorabilia being collected people are collecting them widely online because uh, exactly what you said was you're taking me back you're okay. bringing me back dr Lori. it's the memory this is I why we collect you know i don't want to say this because i don't have mine anymore i don't know where mine ended up um yeah. but i'm gonna say no dumpster and i'm gonna be upset if i'm right because again my i need to talk to my mom where did mine all go <laughs> <laughs> well i'll tell you the collection that you see is worth about 750 dollars in the picture they're about 10 to 15 dollars just for one on the collectibles market today get out of here <laughs> no it's true Oh, Dr. Lori, I am heartbroken. I had so many of those little things, man. Okay, okay. you know what, Dr. Lori? If I only knew it then, unfortunately, we are out of time. Wow, I, we had the gamut today, always fun. DrLoriV.com is where you could go for more information if you want to be bummed out like I am, knowing you gave away some things that was worth that kind of dough. Dr. Lori, lots of fun as always. Thanks so much. It's exactly what we said at the beginning. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's not valuable. Man, I'm gonna I'm I'm talking to my mom during this commercial break. That's what <laughs> I'm doing. We hope you stay right there. More morning blend in just a moment. Where are my charms? <laughs>